Hey there, welcome to our online Green Living Workshop series. I'm Ashley and I work for the Environmental Education Team at Central Coast Council. Today we're going to do a really great activity that's both fun and crafty and also great at saving you money and saving our water resources. Now Central Coast is often in drought conditions and it's really important that we reduce the amount of water that we use in our homes and gardens in order to protect it as a resource for our community. And one of the great ways we can do that is by putting something called an Oya in our garden. Now, Oyas are a really ancient way of getting water into a garden to produce food without having lots of wastage. And this really awesome traditional Oya is what they used to look like. The material that they're made of is terracotta and it's actually porous, which means the water inside the vessel can really slowly leach through the surface into the garden around it in a really controlled way. So what happens is you bury the oya into the garden, so the soil comes up to about here, and then you've got a little lid on top and you can fill it up with water. That should last your garden for many, many weeks. And it's really easy to make your own at home. All you need is two terracotta pots. It's really important to buy the ones that don't have any sort of varnish. You want them to be raw so that the water can seep out of the pot into your garden. One of them will have to have the hole in the bottom sealed up. And you can do that with something really simple like a bottle cap. If you use a silicon based glue, you can seal that bottle cap into that hole in the bottom. And then all you need to do is use the glue to seal your two pots together, just like that. And then you'll create an olive that has a hole in the top that you can bury into your garden so that the soil comes up to about that level. And then you can fill the water into this hole at the top and that will last anywhere from one to two weeks, slowly dispersing that water into your garden so that your fruit, veg, herbs, plants all have a really uh, consistent supply of water without you having to waste any precious water. If we all do really small actions like this at home in our gardens, imagine that the impact that we can have as a community to help protect our really precious environmental resources. If you tune into more of our online Green Living Workshop series, you'll be able to pick up some other helpful tips to create a water-wise garden. But that's it for today. Bye for now.